Hey, what's going on? Taha Photo here. Today we are talking about mobile photography. Is it still relevant in 2021? Let's talk about it. Spoiler alert, of course it's still relevant in 2021. I was taking shots just this week with my mobile device. We still carry that camera around with us more than any other device. Even if you have a DSLR or a film camera, medium format, whatever it is that you're carrying, you are still probably carrying a mobile device with you. So in 2021, if you're thinking about starting out with photography, maybe traditional photography, which is DSLRs, film cameras, and you're on the fence and you don't know because maybe your budget doesn't tell you you can do this. If you have a phone already, then you probably have a camera on that phone and that camera is more than enough to experiment, to try and see where you can take things. Another reason mobile photography is still relevant in 2021, in my opinion, is its accessibility. To have your phone with you, you're already ready to learn and ready to get better and document and see what you like. Having that access distributed to so many people, I think is an amazing part of mobile photography. Which brings me to another reason why it's still relevant. Technology is speeding by at such a ridiculous rate, but it doesn't mean that the camera on your phone last year is not amazing. Or two years ago, three, four, five years ago, you still had cameras that were producing 10 megapixels. Now it's up to 60 megapixels. My point is that you could buy a used camera today and have access to possibly two or three lenses that are built into those cameras. Right away, these walls of entry into photography are really low and you can just start shooting and expressing yourself and seeing if it's something that you wanna continue doing and investing in. The ability to shoot and then edit on your phone without even using a third-party app. Matter of fact, you can just edit using the native app on your phone. Now, this is not new news for anybody, really. If you're into photography, you know all these things, so I'm not trying to insult you, but it's just a reminder that you can really learn a ton about photography in a short period of time, just in the palm of your hand. Okay, so as mobile camera sensors get bigger and built-in lens options expand, and AI technology helps you take higher quality images, 2021 is the year that you should be trying mobile photography. And it could be for portraits because they have great depth of field now. It could be for landscape. Abstract, doesn't really matter. There's so many features that were on your DSLR that are now on your smartphone. Shooting in RAW, so you have more dynamic range, you can really control your highlights, your, your, your contrast. The video options, the audio options they give you on these phones, there's a lot going for mobile devices, especially in 2021. All right, so before we wrap up here, I just wanted to share a famous photography quote, which is, the best camera you have is the one that is on you right now. And for most of us, the reality is that is our mobile device. So think about that the next time you go out and take some shots. I hope you enjoyed that short video. Mobile photography is definitely relevant in 2021. It doesn't mean that you can't experiment with all other types of photography. I'm always doing that. But just know that what you have on you right now is more than enough. So until the next video, stay creative and believe in yourself. Peace.